Hey guys! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey guys, how are you doing? And I'm Yoga Hemanias. And in this video, we will talk about Yard, how to install it, and why we should use it. So, let's jump into it. And before starting the video, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Basically guys, I think most of you guys know what is yarn, but there are some people who does not know about yarn. And for those people, yarn is a package manager that lets us to install packages in our coding project. Yarn. It replaces the existing workflow for the npm client while remaining compatible with the npm registry or we can understand it as we can use yarn although if npm was already installed in our system now guys let's jump into its advantages yarn is faster yes that's the main thing as yarn is almost twice as fast as the npm because it paralyzes the operations that are going on to maximize the resource utilization so its installation time is much faster secondly security is another reason of yarn as it installs only those files we are only on the yarn.log or package.json files. And now guys, let's jump into its installation process. It is recommended to install yarn globally through the npm package manager or we could say we need one package manager to install other package manager. Therefore, it is necessary that we should have npm in our system that comes with node.js and it is recommended to install yarn globally in our system to install it the main command we have to use is npm install this this global yarn and one other important thing is that we need a code editor also therefore open your code editor and in my case i'm using vs code now on the terminal let's type npm install this this global yarn and let it run I think it has been installed now let us see whether it gets installed or not and therefore we have to write just this yarn dash dash version by writing the command it shows us the version that has been installed in our system. There are also some yarn commands that we have to use if we want to install any packages using yarn. So these are the yarn commands that we have to follow in the future also. If this video helped you out in any kind of thing, please let me know by your valuable comments and please guys don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.